I'm gonna do, what was it? Milo. Satin velvet, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. We're off yeah. No, no, that's next week. Oh. Okay. All right, guys, so everyone has seen this before, mm -hmm. this little one. Yeah. I'm gonna draw this in different fabrics, okay? So you guys understand what I mean. So everyone excited now mm -hmm. of what I really meant? Yeah. Will that, did that help? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so. so, I don't know if I want to do white or black right now because I think that might be too much for everybody. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this as a satin. Everyone knows we have different satin weights, correct? Mm -hmm. Also, everyone knows that we have different, what does, everyone knows what a satin is. It's the weave, not the fabric. Does that make sense now? Meaning you can have satin charmeuse, which is shiny. You can have satin, satin like the peony, like with the rolls, type, type of, uh, it's a thicker silk too. You can have taffeta, which has satin weave because the floats are longer, that's why satin, but it's much stiffer, correct? So what I want you to understand is that part. So for example, I have a pencil. I have no more pencil. Now. It's okay. So, oh, here it is. Yay. So, I'm just going to draw it with pencil. You guys have to, you could outline it with your microns and do it the whole way. So, this is what I mean. So, if this is, let's just say velvet, let's do velvet first. It will not have that many pleats. Why? Velvet is very thick. So, it will just look more like that. And we'll have, it will not have sharper corners, meaning if this was taffeta, it will look more like this. Very sharp, like very, very sharp. Velvet's gonna look more rounder, more bulky, more, the finishes are not gonna be as much. So then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to, oh, actually let's do a blue velvet thing. So then, I have blue in everything. So we have here, I'm just drawing on the paper because that's faster. I don't know if you guys want to see me draw. It's going to have very thick. Now everyone has seen velvet. Everyone knows that it's not, it's very thick. And I don't know if you ever have tried to uh, photo shoot velvet, but it does not have any, it's really hard for it to have sheen. So even if this is my light source and that's what we're gonna keep in mind, I'm gonna have very dark shadows. And I can build it with my marker first. I can build it with my marker first and then I'll have even the sharing once you start sewing, you'll notice because it's so bulky, it's not going to share that much. It's going to share very slightly. So it's not, you're just going to see very little. But you see already, this is looking heavy. That's what I want you to start thinking about, weights. And maybe if this was, if we're really talking about construction, this type of fabric will need to have a crinoline to give it that poof. We're not drawing that today. We're just drawing the outside. So then what I will have to do here is that velvet doesn't have the machine like we discussed, but it does have lighter colors and tighter colors. But it's very, very in the spectrum. So I will have to just put it, if this is here, that means this section will have some version of my blue. And you see how stripy that is? Because it doesn't blend in. Isn't it already looking like velvet? And then the shadows here, we just look. And 
and maybe if you wanted to put a slight color like to show some type of lightness you could try to do it in your spectrum not white but somewhere like little lighter that's it cheese looks heavy correct mm -hmm. now let's go and do what was the other one satin 